We're going to look now at adding and subtracting fractions. Now, to begin with, we need to remember what the top and the bottom are called. Remember, we've got the numerator on the top, the denominator on the bottom. Now, if we're adding or subtracting fractions, we have to make sure that the bottom number, the denominator, is always the same. In this case, it's the same. So all I do is use the same denominator in the answer, and I add the top two. So 1 add 2 equals 3, and it's done. Okay, the same would happen with subtraction. So if I've got 4 over 5, and I'm going to take away 2 over 5, or 2 fifths, because the bottom number or the denominator is the same, it's going to be the same in the answer, and then I just do 4, take away 2, which is 2. Okay, this gets a little bit more difficult once we have fractions which have got a different denominator. Now, luckily, we've already learned how to find the lowest common multiple in a video previously. So, all we do, we find the lowest common multiple of these two because we need to make the denominators the same. So, once I've worked out the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5, which is 15, I go back to my original fractions and I check what I had to multiply by. What I mean by that, 5 times 3 makes 15, so I do the same to the top. 3 times 3 is 9. So we've now got an equivalent fraction. 3 over 5 is exactly the same as 9 over 15. Then what do I multiply 3 by to make 15? 3 times 5 makes 15. So I do the same at the top. So 1 times 5 is 5. And now because my denominator is the same, I'm ready to add them. So... Remember, if they're the same, the answer has the same denominator. 9 add 5 is 14. And that's my answer. Okay, we're now going to try a takeaway. So 4 over 7, take away 1 half. Okay, so what we need to do first, because the denominators are different, we need to find the lowest common multiple of 7 and 2 quick way of doing this on this one 7 times 2 is 14 so I know that my lowest common multiple is 14 now I need to go back and check what I'm going to multiply the top by so 7 times 2 makes 14 so I'm going to do 4 times 2 on the top which is 8 and 2 times 7 is 14 so I'm going to times the top by 7 also, which makes 7. Okay, now that I've got my denominators the same, we know that the answer is going to be the same denominator, 8 take away 7 equals 1. So my final answer is 1 over 14.